Susie Shamurai. Hi, should I make an organization from ourselves to give us a score for the quote? I can do that. <laughs> organization, paper fan games, and paperfangames.com gave it a 10, saying, uh, saying, the best game we've made yet. It is. July 2020. How's that? Here's the here's a little trick about game design. Fine, okay. I'm gonna give it to you right here. Are you guys have your copy books out? So as a game designer, one trick to use is to make the game annoying for players, and then allow players to upgrade or progress into situations where things that used to be annoying aren't annoying anymore, and that's a very good feeling. Okay. So, so what's, what's for an example, in a survival game, it gets really annoying to kill the same rabbits over and over again, and then that's why you unlock the rabbit trap. And all of a sudden, that becomes then the game becomes a lot more fun, even though it's just a rabbit trap and it's still very menial. You know, it it solves the problem for you. Okay, so what's our problem for us? In the next scenario, we have different bullets, like the area effect bullets, stuff like that. That's just better quality of life. That's just an example. I don't think our game is that long, so. Wow, so you guys, check this out. Before, the monkeys were, look at that. It's like high definition monkeys, guys. Very high definition now. Well, let me uh, scroll out. Do you guys see those high definition? The spider is still low definition, but these monkeys are high definition. The amount of shading on their mask and then on their butts, incredible. I feel like it's a little dark though, Pi. Going to collider. I'm just going to erase it all. Whee! Oopsies. Wait. Mm -hmm. I thought you just said you can't just erase things. You have to. This is just because I based it on something else. I duplicated and erased it. You know, it's like twins. Like the second twin that comes out, you can just delete them. Yeah, welcome paper. to the paper fan, paper fan, fan pack. The paper fanny pack. There we go. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, top, top notch. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you're in school, right? But when I was in high school, um, I carried a fanny pack everywhere. And like when like we had like like a daily assembly where we had to go in the room, everyone couldn't bring their bags in or anything like that. But guess who pretended like he had severe allergic reactions? Me, I could carry my fanny pack in there, which contained my phone, you know, a bunch of other things, right? And in class, yeah, in class, what happens is, is I used to put my fanny pack on the table, I'll open it up, and I'll hide my Nintendo DS in there so I could play Nintendo DS during school. So, you know, I'm telling you right now, I could, I could have probably cheated on tests with it too. Now that I think about See, it, I would like to say that's like aggressive, but I, I was there. I, I can, I can, I can I verify that I was. In if I, if I can play like if I can play Mario Kart for a whole day with one hand, you know, I could have uh, cheated in the test, you know, Pi? It's true. We played a lot. We did a lot of things in, in although I was I was a Western side of <laughs> I convinced him he's gonna get a fanny pack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is the first one after the Bonsai Sushi House nearby. Sushi Samurai, check this out guys. <laughs> I've agreed. Do you remember this pie? I remember this, yes. Okay, I don't know if everyone here has seen it yet, but... This is something that I've made. It's pretty next level. Sushi Samurai. <laughs> Brilliant. If you guys like that, if you guys don't like that, you don't like the profane games. Good. You know what? I find it weird. Doesn't he get like an insult? Like, you're such a git. Is it? Like, you're such a git? Yeah. It's true. But I'm saying, like, the word git is insult. 
originally. Like, get before. that garbage out of here. You know, it sounds like a... It sounds like a New York... You know, like a, a Brooklyn... A, a Brooklyn Italian pizza chef. Like, get that garbage out of here. I think uh, Coco... Oh, you named them Coco and Sally? No, you named them Coco and Sally. I literally wrote it as you were naming them. What the heck? That's crazy that we were just on the same page.